Here again with another Breaking Bad Season 2 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important if you aren't caught up to the point where I am and rewatching or watching Breaking Bad, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And for those of you that are wondering, I've seen this show many times. Join me on the journey of rewatching and discussing this show in the comments section. I want to hear what you think. But this will be Breaking Bad, Season 2, Episode 9. The title of this episode is called Four Days Out. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watch the episode. Walt's at the clinic for a full PETCT scan. Hank, Marie, Walter Jr., and Skyler have also come along. And Walt mentions that they won't even uh, know the results until next week. But Marie says, well, the lab techs know information. They might not tell you the information, but they know. And then we have Walt puking and coughing in the bathroom. And then a guy in the stall next to him asks if he's all right. And Walt says he's all right. And then Walt has his scans done. Walt asks the lab tech about the scans because Marie said what she said. And he says the doctor will go over the results next week. Saul tells Walt he has to cook more. Skyler tells Walt we should do something this weekend to get our minds off of the results. Walt mentions he was thinking about seeing his mom as he apparently hasn't told her the big news yet. And Skylar thinks Walt thinks that the scans will be bad. Skylar says she thinks the scan the news from the scans is going to be good news. Jesse and Jane are have woken up, and Jane says we should do something, uh, kind of like what Skylar just did with Walt. And Jane wants to go see some art from Georgia O'Keeffe, as a lot of her paintings look like uh, vaginas, which hey, that's cool. And then Walt calls in to Jesse, and, well, Jesse's like, I got plans. I'm going to go see some Georgia O'Keefe shit. And Walt's like, really? Like, basically, like, you, you're you an idiot. And then says, we need to cook. We need new supplies. Walt tells Jesse they need to cook through next Thursday due to the fact that the methylamine they have is going bad. Skyler drops Walt off at the airport. Jesse picks Walt up in the RV at the airport, and off to the desert they go, Walt and Jesse. Walt doesn't like all the bag of Funyuns that Jesse has bought for the cooking getaway, and Jesse throws the, when they get to the spot in the desert, he throws the keys on the counter, and Walt questions that decision and says that's their workstation. So Jesse puts the keys in the ignition and doesn't realize that a red light went on on uh, for the vehicle but it didn't make any noise letting you know that the keys were in the ignition like it usually does or if you turned it wrong or something like that so they've cooked 19 pounds of meth i believe at the moment and it comes out if you if they sell it all for the price that they're selling it six hundred and seventy two thousand dollars each but walt still wants to cook more jesse suggests going to get a room as the cot he's sleeping on is killing his back and going to Denny's for a grand slam. And then when they, they, they the Walt agrees and then uh, the RV doesn't start. The battery is dead. Well, it actually starts and then stops. Uh, the battery is dead. Walt is mad. Jesse put the key in the ignition. Were you born stupid or did your mother drop you on your head a bunch of times? Walt says they need to jump the battery somehow. And they hook the generator up to the battery and Jesse pulls it like starting a lawnmower uh, and then it starts on fire. So Jesse dumps the rest of their water supply on this equipment that's on fire when Walt comes out with a fire extinguisher. Walt can't believe he dumped their water on it. Well done, Jesse, as always. Jesse tells Walt, we need to use your phone. Somebody is going to have to pick us up. And Walt gives in and uh, Jesse calls Skinny and gives him directions. And then it's at night now. They're getting kind of cold. 
And so the desert is actually cold at night and hot during the day. Is that my understanding? Like they were like wearing jackets cold. Is it really that cold at night? Anyway, so it's it's been a while. So Jesse decides to call Skinny Pete again. And he tells Jesse he just crossed a river. But Walt's sitting there like, there's no river. So obviously Skinny Pete went the wrong way. And that's never addressed in another episode, unfortunately. I would have liked to see seen where Skinny, Skinny Pete went. And why he didn't call back that number that they called him from. And then the phone dies. So maybe he did call back, but the phone died. And Walt has an idea, and theoretically, it will work. It has to work. Walt goes out, and uh, is he's, he's on a lawn. He's taking a break, and he's on a lawn chair, and he's kind of passed out like this. So Jesse goes over to check on him, and then Walt starts coughing really bad, as he usually does. And Jesse's like, the methylamine doesn't spoil. Walt finally gives Jesse the okay to start the RV. It starts, but then stalls right away. Walt has a bunch of blood coughed up on his hand, and Walt says he had this coming. And Jesse's like, snap out of it. Everything you did, you did for your family. Jesse says, screw it. I'm walking. And Walt's like, you won't make it. As his body, I believe, is extremely low on electrolytes. And then Jesse yells out Walt. You need to cut your loser crybaby crap and think of something scientific. You made poison out of beans. And you need to make us some sort of robot or build a battery. And then Walt kind of stops what he's doing. And Walt says to gather all the chain screws and uh, it has to be galvanized. And then Jesse asks, what are we building? And Walt said, you said it yourself. A battery. It is successful Nice pep, pep talk to Mr. White uh, from Jesse. So Jesse ends up dropping Walt off at the airport he picked him up from. And then Jesse tells Walt, whatever happens, your family will get your share. So Walt thinks he's going to die really soon. That's why he wanted to cook so much. And then time for the doctor to reveal Walt's results. He's showing signs of remission. It doesn't mean the patient is cured, but Walt's tumor has shrunk by 80%. That's extremely good news. Although it can grow back, but it's good news. And the cough is something that we need to discuss. He might have tissue inflammation and he might have a tear in his esophagus, which needs to be addressed immediately. So you should have called me no more secrets. With these results, you're not completely out of the woods, but it gives the, us some time you folks, you folks have earned some celebrating. And then so they leave and then Walt's in the bathroom and he actually punches the towel dispenser thing in the bathroom, the, the metal or steel one. And uh, that's what ends the episode. So really like this episode. I thought it was going to be a 10 out of 10, but there, there wasn't a lot of time spent cooking. A lot of other things happened. So I'm going to score it a 9.4 out of 10. My characters of the episode will Walt and Jesse, either or, take your pick. And then, of course, Skylar. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. I want to hear from you. If you're a fan of Breaking Bad and want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, take some time right now to Hulk smash that like button. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section what we, about what your thoughts are on this episode if you want to write the episode that's fine and then let me know who would be your character of the episode if you want to do male female just male or just whomever not just male but just one person that's fine as well i'll put some recommended playlists or possibly videos right here 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 and here and then last but certainly not least don't forget to hit that sub button subscribe to the channel you're watching the video anyway. Join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.